Hi guys, I'm Silvio and welcome to another 2022 off-season video. And in reality, this has become a very little, 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 little mini-series concerning 3D printers as a useful tool to improve, if you want, if you desire, your Christmas villages. Uh, after a last week video uh, that was about understanding 3D printers, some of you pointed out, and I will always thank for that, that I was missing costs concerning 3D printers and the world of 3D printing. Thank you for that. My mistake, I will try to do, uh, I will try to amend myself and go with this video. That will be no more than five or six, seven hours. Oh no, go. No, 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 promise. I will try to uh, concentrate everything is important in a, a short video, medium short video. And I will start as last week by the filament printer, the FDM printer that is right now there. I will go and get it. My very, very heavy. FDM printer, not very heavy, around 10 kilograms, 15 kilograms. Okay, there. And an accessory. Like in everything concerning our lives, there are different brands and different costs of printers. Such in real life, you have Ford cars. Then you have Ferrari cars, and then you have more expensive Pagani cars. For 3D printers, it is the exact same thing. And I will avoid going with printers under 250 euros, 250 USD, because nowadays euros and USD are almost equivalent because it will be an absolutely waste of your money. Yes, there are on the markets 3D filament printers around 90 euros, little printers, but the results will be a complete mess. You won't get satisfying results. So I will try to go with two, three models for each printers, uh, assuring you decent, medium, or even satisfying results and I will start with my Creality printer. This is precisely, uh, precisely sorry, a Creality Ender 3 V2 printer. Uh, costs. Uh, on marketplaces, on common marketplaces, it is around 300 euros or 280 USD. Yes. It is variable on uh, Europe or US. Sorry, but I don't have right now prices for, uh, I don't know, uh, Australia or UK or other countries. I will try to get euros and uh, USD when possible. Uh, this has been modified. I have added some mods, so let's forget the mods. It is if you are really into 3D printing, you can modify your printers to get much more uh, out of the printers. This is true for FDM printer. This, this is not true for um, resin printers because they come out of the box precisely what you will need. Those may have some mods to be done. You get 300 use, what you get for 300 use, a complete printer. Disassembled printer, sorry, because you will need to assemble it, but you will get plenty of uh, videos and tutorials on YouTube. Uh, so once you have uh, uh, assembled it, and you will get everything from the uh, producer, uh, you will need you will cutters, uh, you will need the spare parts, Sorry for the noise, tools for uh, assembling and dismantling and everything else you will need to use your 3D printer. Then 
you will also get an adapter because the printer will come with its proper micro SD card. You don't need to buy a micro SD card. This is a 8 gigabyte micro, micro SD card. It will be very, 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 very enough for thousands of models stored in there. And you will also get an adapter, right, like that, to uh, use the micro SD attached to your USB printer, your computer printer for transferring the uh, files from the computer to the printer. Because uh, only um, notebook may have an SD card, an SD uh, reader slot, uh, but generally normal computers, desktops and etc. doesn't have uh, a micro SD uh, lector, okay? A drive, a micro SD drive. So you will get uh, the model inside your micro SD and you will insert it back into the printer with a click and it will. So everything you will need to print is there. The printer, uh, the tools to assemble it and nothing else. Okay, I will uh, start from the printers, then I will go with materials and other things. Another example, and I will try to um, show you on the screen the names. Another uh, very common and very known printer is the Anycubic Viper. And uh, you will find on marketplaces around 460 euros or 430 USD so a level up but don't 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 believe me these will get this reality here for 300 euros will get you excellent results if you calibrate it correctly another other plenty of videos teaching you how to precisely calibrate your 3d printer your filament 3d printer very quickly done for the resin printer. If you calibrate it correctly, you will get excellent result just with 300 euros of 3D printer, of Creality 3D printer. Okay, so uh, the Ender 3V2, the Anycubic Viper, and then I will stop with the Prusa, P-R-U-S-A, MK 3S Plus. Prusa are different from other producers because you will not find it on marketplaces but on their own uh, site uh, you will find uh, spare parts on marketplaces but not uh, on but not the entire printer and Prusa is the only one that will uh, send you the disassembled printer or the assembled printer directly from the producers. I, other sites may offer you the service of uh, assembling the printer for you, then sending the printer already assembled, but otherwise uh, producers, Creality uh, and other um, producer of um, filament printers will generally send you only disassembled uh, printers. The cost of the Prusa MK3S Plus 769 euros directly shipping from US to Europe or 635 USD. And I will stop there with filament printers because you can go even with 2000, 3000 uh, euros or USD value of printer, but those are professional printers and luxury printers okay i don't know maybe you want to get there but if you make a simple search on uh, google on uh, uh, marketplaces you will get results explaining uh, detailing precisely the prices of very very luxury 3d uh, fdm 3d printers so you get everything in this case for 300 euros, 280 USD. Uh, this is a complete printer. 
you may need after some hours some spare parts and that is the aftermarket um, for spare parts may vary from seller to seller but these generally if you aren't an insane 3d printer you will need uh, you, you will not need to change uh, anything that will broke for thousands of hours of printing okay the printer itself is done let me remove the fdm printer voila and it is time to go with the resin printer that is right there let me just check the cameras okay no problem with the cameras let let's get the less heavy uh, resin printer my elegant mars 2 uh, oh, let's remove this okay uh, resin printers uh, will be shipped out almost completely assembled. You just need to uh, insert the batch there and the support, this support. Everything else will come already assembled in the box no effort to do but you will get with the printer with each printers even with the um, with the filament printer right there and this printer here some spatulas that in this case you will be using for removing from the support there the uh, the prints when, when when they will be done. Uh, I will not use it for the uh, filament printer because I've already told you that I've modified it with a magnetic bed, so I will just need to remove. But everything will come with the printer, even the thumb drive. You don't have to buy a thumb drive uh, or you may use the Wi-Fi to connect the printer to your uh, computer. But I suggest you you go you always go with uh, uh, three uh, with a um, USB thumb drive. Imagine that in the middle of the printing for some strange um, case you will lose a, con a Wi-Fi connection between the printer and the computer. So uh, the com the printer will go in error because uh, in plain middle of the printer it will not find. Uh, other layers to print. So the uh, the USB drive, the thumb drive, will come with the printer. Cost of the resin printer here, the market is not as flourished as with uh, filament printers. You get less brands for uh, resin printers because obviously they are a little more expensive. Uh, this case here is the Elegoo Mars 2 that I have, but I will talk about the Elegoo Mars 2 Pro. That it's not green, it is orange and has some uh, holes there for filtering uh, the uh, fumes from the um, resin. But <laughs> by, in, for me, they are useless because they don't uh, get enough power to uh, filter all the, all the uh, fumes. It's not just my opinion, it's also the opinions of many others, uh, uh, owners of the uh, Elegoo Mars uh, 2 Pro. So the Elegoo Mars 2 Pro that is quite the same structure as this one, uh, has a cost around 300 euros or 300 USD. Strange thing, the Elegoo the Elegu has the same price on marketplaces in US and in Europe. Then I will uh, go with another printer that is uh, always from Elegoo there, and it is the Elegoo um, Saturn. 
the Elegus Saturn has a very big wide batch, resin batch, so it can get very large models. Not as large as this one, because it would be exaggerated to have a, a 3D resin uh, big, uh, big as this uh, one, but 30% more than this batch here. It has surely 30% more uh, mm, surface, printing surface than uh, this one. So the Elegus Saturn uh, will go between 550 euros or 480 USD. Uh, okay, third and last model will be the Frozen Sonic Mini 4K, so a 4K printer. Be advised that nowadays you also have commonly on the market, on every marketplace, 6K printers and they are coming into the market 8K printers. So 8,000 pixels, <laughs> okay? So very, very, very high definition printers. Uh, but the uh, Frozen Sonic Mini 4K will come in, in 400 euros or 350 USD. So different type of printer, the resin printer, use it for precision. Okay, this is FDM printed, as always, as I already told you, this is... Uh, uh, resin printed, okay, uh, oh, oh, you can't judge uh, the quality because it has, this one has been painted, but I can assure you that the quality is exaggerated with uh, resin print, okay, so two figurines and, uh, oops, there, sorry, but the quality is Tremendous with those resin print, even with this little printer here. So you will get everything for uh, 300, between 300 and 500, 600 euros, 600 USD, but you also get uh, printers very, very, very expensive around 2,000, 3,000 or 5,000 euros or USD. But the standard, the entry level will be 300 euros for the resin printer and 300 euros or USD for a FDM printer right there. So equivalent. You simply decide what you need to have. A printer, an FDM printer for mechanical products, for meta mechanical or industrial products. A resin printer also for mechanical products, but uh, this is on the market exclusively for dentists, yes, and uh, scientists and uh, figuring printers and everything related to uh, to gaming to tabletop gaming you can you will not believe how many uh, tabletop uh, gamers will use 3d printer for the for the miniatures in order to play with absolutely precise very very high defined miniatures okay figurines miniatures equivalent i can call them miniatures or figurines uh, that said, okay, I've talk, told you about the cost of printers. Let's go in details with materials, okay? Uh, let me push away the resin printer, the thumb drive, the support there, okay. The filament printer. The filament printer can use PLA filament, polylactic acid filament, green plastic, as I said last week, obtained from Scorch, 
from uh, sugar cane, from corn, etc. So this is a green plastic and generally you get many colors, plenty of colors and you go, in this case you have PLA. <laughs> I will uh, introduce you also other uh, materials. ABS, TPU and PETG and I will not talk about them because they are very complex uh, polymers, uh, plastic polymers. I will simply write now on the, sc on the screen right now ABS, TPU and PETG. I will let you uh, go and search for uh, those terms, but, but they, are, they are very uh, complex and very useful um, polymers, plastic, so plastic. And so different colors, different type of uh, filaments. So each color may vary the price of the one kilogram spool. Generally, you buy filaments in one kilogram spools. Okay, I know that um, the nozzle is only 0 0.4, 0 0.5 millimeters, so the hole the of, of the nozzle is just 0 0.4 or 0 0.5 millimeters. So in order to squeeze it through the filament need to be squeezed, the diameter need to be larger. Okay, so this is 1.75 millimeters. Different colors you even get... Uh, wood similar filament so once the object is printed it is like having wood on your hands or uh, graphite graphite uh, type of filament etc so the pla one kilogram spool of filament the cost may vary between 16 and 30 euros or usd equivalent and I'm sorry if only in Europe you can get uh, Chinese brands, I know, politics from Amazon and the US, because Chinese, and this is Sun Lu, so a Chinese uh, brand, they make excellent filaments. In US you will find Anicubic uh, filaments, you will find uh, Amazon Basics, uh, filaments, but not Chinese brands. I'm sorry for that. But this is quite a fantastic brand of filament for Europe, Sunlu, and I think that this is one of the Amazon choice in Europe and one of the most sold brands of filament sold in Europe. So, uh, 16 and 30, it all depends from the brands for one kilogram. But, uh, no, let's go with the resin here, a bottle. Here I have my usual bottle of 500 grams water washable uh, resin. <laughs> Let's, uh, photo let's uh, forget about the photopolymer and let's consider this a water washable resin. The 500 grams a bottle of resin will cost between 18 and 30 um, euros or USD. You will get cheaper price if you buy one kilogram bottles, but you can't get uh, spools more bigger than uh, one kilogram otherwise the uh, motor that the electric motor that will um, uh, push the filament into the um, the tube or into the mechanism will suffer but you can get uh, f 500 grams uh, re bottle of resin or one kilogram bottle of resin and you will get some uh, reduced price if you buy them. But let's say um, 16 to 30 euros and here you go with uh, 18 to 30 euros. Yes, but how much can you print with both of them? This with around 
25 grams, excluding the base, guys, huh? always excluding, excluding the base, 25 grams of, uh, of uh, uh, filament used. Let's say 30 grams. One kilogram, it is a thousand gram, okay? So, a thousand grams divided by 30 grams, you can get around 33 to 35 figurines with one kilogram of PLA filament. This resin here, this resin figurine here, excluded the base, that the base here is FDM printed. I don't care about the base, it will be under the snow in my village. So only the figurine weighs 50 gram, 50 grams, around 45 to 50 grams. So 10 figurines each, 500 grams of resin, a bottle of resin. But the cost is almost equivalent. <laughs> you don't believe it, but the cost is almost equivalent. So uh, I will show you right now. So let me switch to my PC that is behind me in the corner there on, the, on my left. Uh, right now I will switch then to my computer uh, and I will show you the difference between PLA printing, the cost between the cost between PLA printing and resin printing. Then I will be back here for the last cost, guys. So three, because I'm in Europe, I do three like that, not three like that. So three, two, one, go. Well, guys, I've switched to my computer because it will be easier to explain if you have everything in front of your eyes. So here I have Ultimaker Cura. This is the software or one of the software you will be using if you have an FDM printer, a filament printer. Here I have the name of my printer. Here I have the PLA, the polylactic acid I will be using. So the uh, filament I will be using, this is a generic PLA. And I will be using a nozzle of 0.4 millimeters. So a nozzle with an hole of 0.4 millimeters. Standard quality here on the right, 0.2 millimeter layer. So each layer will be 0.2 millimeters and an infill, a standard basic infill of 20%. Uh, I will open my clown, my evil clown, because you already know it, okay? Just some seconds because this software is not very performant and uh, it takes some seconds to open 40 megabytes of file so here you will recognize my uh, heavy clown here from each and single one of the angles i've already told you that you can't print filament or resin in plain air because once the filament will reach the nozzle will reach the points there marked in red uh, the nozzle will will not have a support down itself and the filament will drop down here onto the bed so uh, you will need to have a support under those red zones there okay uh, i will not do it right now because i already have my model with supports i just need to load it and so the clown test 4 i think yes the clown test 4 will be uh, the clown itself with supports some time for loading the model this it will take some time uh, some seconds longer because it has all the supports and it will magically appear on top of the bed this is the bed of my printer and the cube here we representing the maximum depth and width and height of the printing model. So uh, let me just go this way and this one here. So you will have the difference between 
a model without supports on the left here and a model with supports on the right. You can see that uh, you have all the red uh, zones supported by supports there that will be cut off during the post processing of the printing once the um, the figurine will be printed okay um, i will stop here with uh, some strange explanation i'm here to talk about cost so i will erase the model without supports and i will bring the uh, model in the middle in the center and up there so once i have the supports and the model is ready to be printed i simply click here on the um, right down a corner here where where you have the slice i will click slice and the software will start from the base up cutting in slides on my model so slice this will be done very quickly, just some 20-30 seconds. And I'm going real time, I'm not forwarding, fast forwarding anything, this is uh, in real time. Okay, done. So, uh, this model here with an infill of 20%, uh, these uh, settings here, will take 6 hours and 23 minutes to print starting from the base here up to the top here of the last balloon there and it will take it will use 25 grams of PLA of a plastic filament or 8.53 meters of filament okay uh, this software here just uh, tell me uh, how much filament I will be using. Let's bring up the uh, standard uh, the standard uh, um, calculating tool there and I will say. Uh, I've just said some minutes ago, I hope, because I'm not filming this in, at the same time, that uh, I will be uh, using a 25 euros by kilograms of PLA so each spool of filament will cost 25 euros let's divide this by 1000 because one kilograms is made by 1000 grams and I will get 0.025 euros euros and uh, USD are the same so let's say it is the same value so 0.025 euro cents or USD cents per grams of filament I will use 25 grams of filaments so let's multiply this by 25 these figurines with all the waste of the supports will cost me once printed 0.63 63 euro cents or USD cents that's all then the the, the painting etc is another cost okay but this is the cost of a not very high quality image as I uh, figurine sorry as a figurine singular as I explained last with my last video but this is a cost 0 0.63 cents euro cents uh, and then and then uh, uh, let's preview the, the figure in there okay those are all the layers let's just click here L just take a look here on the right from the base there this is the first layer that will be printed out this is called the skirt that will this the blue one the light blue one uh, is representing the skirt so the maximum area <laughs> where the model will be printed uh, in depth eight and width and then it will print up 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 like this sorry I'm going to quick layer after layer layer after layer layer after layer layer after layer up to it reach the final layer the final balloon and it will get 
584 layers with an ADOS of 0.2 millimeters. So the figurines will be between 0.2, um, 10, 12, 10, 11 centimeters from the, uh, the base up to the balloon there, okay? 11, 12 centimeters. And this is all, so 0.63 cents. Let's go to the resin, let's switch to the resin software, okay? The resin software is here. This is called Cheetobox. It is especially made for Elegu printers. So I have my Elegu printer with me. Other brand of, um, of uh, resin printers may have their proper slicer because this one is called also a slicer. But the principle, the method of doing it is the same. But this is way more advanced. This Cheetobox here is way more advanced. Let's open the standard model here, here I have the clown heavy there, okay? So, first impression, the clown here is very well defined, very well defined. If I confront it with the, uh, let's go back there, if you go back there, okay? It seems way more defined, just look at the pom-pom here and the pompon here, way more defined. Here I have all the settings for my printer. So, uh, the supports. Don't worry about the supports. Cheetobox here and Kurasla Ultimate, Ultimaker Kura will take care of the supports, okay? It will generate the supports for you, the software. Let's do an example, a quick example. So. I switch there and I will just tell here the red zones are marked there the same as before and then I just need to click hole there and the software will take care of generating all the supports very quickly <laughs> nothing difficult there so I will remove them yes let me remove that so Let's go back there. This is the model that I have originally uh, for the clown. Let's open the supported one. This is just the uh, supported model inclined with some degrees in order to optimize the printing. Uh, but this is the same model. I just inclined it some degrees in order to avoid having too much uh, um, damage surface on the so not damage surface too much uh, work to do on the main surface that, that this is the front once I need to clean the figuring let's remove uh, the clown without support let's bring it to the center and now the supports are generated I know let clean okay I will show you the settings so here I have the settings of the machine, but the very important part here and the, uh, of the software here, here you will take care of um, inserting the type of resin you are, you are using, the, des the re resin density, it is marked on the bottle or on the packaging of the, um, of the uh, resin itself, don't worry, and then the resin cost. Uh, I know I'm using five, uh, 500 grams bottles of water, wa water washable resin and they cost me around 24 euros so I market here 48 euros per kilogram even if when you buy one kilogram bottles you will have a, a price reduction so let's say maximum you will spend 48 euros of resin each kilograms this is the setting, okay? I click on slice. And here I have all the parameters. Uh, the exposure time here on the, uh, on the um, down, uh, down, <coughs> on the down uh, part of uh, the uh, screen, sorry. 
um, lift speed, etc. The exposure time of the first five or six layers, the dimension here of e the, the um, thickness of each layer. This is 0.05 millimeters. So uh, this printer is four times more precise than the filament printer. Okay, and it's uh, it's not a, a 4K printer. Okay, it's a standard printer. And the retract speed there. So let's go there. Machine needs another good mask too, water washable. Uh, volume used, I will be using with all the waste of the supports 45.56 milliliters of resin, or I will be using 50 grams of resin. It will cost me 2 euros, 0.41 cents, or 2 USD point, 2 USD dollars and 41 USD cents and it will take 5 hours and 29 minutes but look here I have 2234 layers from the down there from the base up 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 each layer on top here um, this is inclined, so it will, uh, it will use less resin than the filament because I've printed the filament perfectly perpendicular to the base, so vertical. This is inclined around 30, 35 degrees. It will take at least uh, one hour less to print uh, four times the uh, four times the equivalent of the layers so because each and single one of the uh, layers except for the first five or six layers will only take 2.7 seconds each time to be cured the resin will take 2.7 seconds to be cured so this is a faster print printer compared to the amount of precision we, you will get and uh, it will cost yes four times six twelve 18 4. You will get uh, because if this cost uh, 63 euro cents, this cost 2.4 euro cents, simply 60 cents multiplied by 4, 4 times the layers it will take 2 euros. So, equivalent cost, but much, much more precision, much more definition for the uh, resin printer and you can see from each side that the supports then once the supports are once the print is done for the resin printer or for the uh, uh, PLA the plastic printer you will simply need to remove carefully the um, the supports in each of the cases mm -mm much easier to remove the um, supports for the resin print than for the plastic print the PLA print because those supports are as hard as plastic pure cured plastic so very hard you will need to use some tweezers to cut to remove the supports here you will simply use your bare hands your bare uh, fingers to remove the supports and I think that's all for the cost uh, let's go back to the original set bye guys okay guys I'm back here with my stage I've simply uh, moved the figurines uh, around uh, I hope to have been able to explain the difference between the two printing costs in less than 16 minutes, 15, 16 minutes. I hope, I really hope so. So uh, let's continue. Um, the printer has just finished printing the FDM figure in there. What I need to do? I simply need to remove the figurine from the bed, okay? without the uh, base, because this has been printed after. And once removed from the bed, I simply need to use a, 
uh, a scissor uh, or some or some other tools to remove the supports you have just seen uh, me explaining the, the, the supports some minutes ago okay you just need to remove the supports and then to send paper the model because the one after cutting the supports you used to have some protruding uh, pieces of uh, plastic of PLA still present there so you will need to use some sandpaper uh, I don't uh, I don't uh, um, generally use some files because they are too 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 dangerous you risk to uh, ruin to damage your model. I could use some uh, files, but I prefer using uh, sand uh, paper. So once the model is uh, is cleaned from the um, from the supports and sand paper, it is ready. You can use it <laughs> right as it has been printed, or you can paint it. So no other costs for the print just the cost for the <laughs> the paints okay the resin the resin figuring it will be printed upside down like that like that upside down sorry okay and you will need to the base will be not present, you just will need to use your spatula, remove the figuring with your gloves and then the figurines, figurine need to go inside a plastic container, a big container. Fill it with what? Fill it with water if you are using water washable resin or IPA isopropylic alcohol or isopropanol if you are using common resin why the resin the resin the, the figurine sorry with the resin printer is going up and down up and down no it's starting from the down then goes up 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 each layer okay so the figuring itself will be submerged in resin until the last layer has been printed more than 2000 layers here around the 550 layers there so there is plenty of resin not cured on your figuring. And the resin is a pollutant material. You can't just simply wash it under your sink, uh, under your faucet in your sink. Yes, this is a water washable resin. It means that you can wash your figuring with water. But you can't polluate the uh, environment. So you need to use a batch, a batch filled with water in this case, a big brush with some uh, dish soap inside the water and clean with the brush the uh, figurine from the residual liquid resin. Then you take the resin the, the figurine sorry and you pass it into some paper in some kitchen paper to dry it a little bit and then there is it done no yes this is a very quick printer 2.7 seconds per layer but it's only for the surface layer after you have cleaned it in water in this case or in IPA in other case if you are using standard resin you will need to remove the supports okay but
by n, no, no, no need for gloves once the uh, resin is uh, washed, the figurine is washed. And I remember you that this is irritant for the skin. You may get your skin very irritated by a resin. So once the uh, the figurine is cleaned, you re remove the uh, supports, but the elastic, the resin, is not completely cured. So you will need to get your figurine under a UV lamp. Yes, under a UV lamp, as I explained last week, you can get it in a curing station or simply under a UV lamp or under a UV lamp with the figurines on top of some rotating, motorized rotating platform before it is done. So the costs for the filament printer, for the filament figurine, nothing else than the cost of the filament or the colors and the colors to be print, to be painted. For the resin figuring, the figuring printed with resin, you will need to spend some more money for the cleaning process. If you use water washable resin, you will simply need to wash it in a very large batch, in a very large container, containing almost two or three liters of water. But if you use normal resin, you will need to use two liters of IPA. And this bottle here in particular, but this is the standard uh, price, is around 15 euros or 15 USD per liter bottle, okay? You may find, find on marketplaces uh, special offers concerning uh, five, uh, liter, 5 liters bottles, big bottles, around 30 euros. But you will waste each time the cost of your IPA. IPA, okay? So, 15 euros minimum per liter of IPA and then a UV lamp or UV curing station. If you use a UV curing station, you will spend around 150 euros or 150 dollars USD for a curing station. Any uh, cubic has very common uh, cleaning and the curing station. But I generally do the uh, curing with a UV lamp. Yes, I've uh, printed out uh, small boxes with my filament printer uh, that has a hole on top of it for my UV lamp, but a simple UV lamp will cost you 23 euros, 26 euros or USD, so mm, inexpensive UV lamp and it will be with you for life. Generally, they are very, very resistant and the UV lamps are very, very resistant, so you don't need to change them. So, if you don't use the water washable resin, you will get a big, big amount of money wasted on IPA. I generally use small amounts of IPA once I've cleaned it Yes, because you also need to clean your printer. So the batch there, sorry, I will get to you. The batch here need to be cleaned after every, uh, every uh, printing cycle. So this, I will always clean it under uh, in my batch with the uh, brush and with water, but then the last cleaning uh, fail, the last cleaning, a minute, I will use some of my IPA, of my isopropanol, isopropylic alcohol, just some little squeezes of, from an atomizer like that one. Uh, I will spend no more than, this has been filled in, in the first days of January and is still half there. 
with all the figurines I've printed. I printed more than 30 figurines, so not in the, at the same time, not in the same day. So I have I have uh, used many uh, printing cycles. So I cleaned each time the last uh, the last minute with my uh, IPA. The batch there and the LCD screen, the UV LCD screen there. So you will uh, also need some IPA, some little amount of IPA to clean your printer, not just with water, okay? Um, so a minimum cost of with IPA you will get also if you are using water washable water. Those are the costs with the um, resin print. And don't forget that the batch fill it with water with inside the residual resin, liquid resin, need to be cured under the UV lamp to cure the resin inside the water. Then you need to filter the water with a simple filter. Maybe a coffee filter will be, uh, will be enough to filter the water from the resin. Then you can uh, eliminate the filtered water into the sink because it will not be pollutant anymore. And then you take what you have in, uh, on top of your filter, the solid resin, and you will waste, uh, you will uh, put it in the not recyclable plastics. Okay, not recyclable. It is not recyclable, so it is completely waste. Okay, otherwise you will be polluting all the environment. Okay, so please, you just need to filter the water after passing on the, the UV lamp. So the process is more expensive with a 3D resin printer than with a 3D filament printer. Uh, I let you do the calculations, the various sums, but um, this will cost you, the resin printer, around minimum 50 euros more than a filament printer for curing and uh, getting the final result before painting the um, the uh, the figurine, okay? And I think that's all, guys. Okay. Please, please, I, I please, don't be scared by those prices. You will, if you are printing just one figurine per year. <laughs> don't don't get a 3d printer but if you use it for your christmas villages it is an expense that you need to think about but it will be very very useful yes i have two printers because for my work i also use sometimes the filament printer to get some prototypes for my work or for uh, colleagues that needs uh, something that has been broken, etc. And a filament printer is very useful if you broke something. Uh, you can model it, you can draw it with uh, your computer and then you can get a spare part with just the cost of the filament instead of having to contact the, the brand of your, uh, of your object that has been broken and then ask them if they have a replacement part and a spare part, a replacement part, and then having them shipped to you with the cost, etc. You can print whatever you want with FDM print. The same thing with the, uh, with the resin printer. The, the, the resin printer is for uh, presentation, it's not for use, okay? This is for presentation. Uh, that's all yes once again if i forgot something just comment down below and i will do 
<laughs> another video. Okay, so f some seconds and I know I can't avoid to show you my face for the outro. See you right now, bye. guys. Bye. And my quick outro, guys, with my usually ugly face right here and the set I've just used for shooting my video right behind my shoulders there with printers and everything else. You have three options here. Cheap, normal or very expensive. It all depends on how much you are disposed to spend for your Christmas village, for your passion and how big is your passion. Okay, I also forget to mention how big you won the fight for introducing 3D printers at home. But I don't want to go there right now. And please don't take my case for a common case because I have two 3D printers. I will essentially use my resin 3D printer, my Elegu Mars 2 printer for the uh, Christmas village. The FDM printer, uh, filament printer, is for something absolutely not related to the Christmas villa, but for my work, for prototyping, prototyping, sorry, something else. And, uh, but guys, simply think on how helpful, uh, how useful, on how essential it is to have something that nobody else have. I'm sorry to tell you this, guys, but I hate standardized Christmas villages. Uh, Christmas villages with always the same figurines, with always the same buildings, with always the same props. I know <laughs> we are subjugated by um, Christmas village producers, with building producers, figurines producers, but from time to time, think about repainting your figurines, your double figurines, but also think about having designed, drawn, it, designed, it, prototyped, it, printed yourself your proper figurine and place it, it after painting in the middle of your Christmas village. Something that no one else can have. How different can be your Christmas village? How unique? would be your Christmas village. Please don't forget to subscribe, comment and give big thumbs up. Thank you for watching. Thank you for bearing my absolutely awful English and only if you wish. See you next time. Bye bye.